What's up YouTube? This is FJ and today I wanted to do a video about outlet shopping. I actually recently crossed the border to my usual outlet route. What I would usually do is go to military outlets over in Niagara and then I'd make my way over to Walden Galleria. And I found some great deals at the fashion outlets in Niagara just to start. Guys, this bomber jacket I'll say. This is the Banana Republic Jewels flight jacket. You can see here I tuck the uh, collar in because what it usually looks like is this with this collar there. And right now you can see here it's selling for $79.97 on their website, but this jacket was originally $160, but at the Banana Republic outlet store in the fashion outlets in Niagara, this was $30. It was 70% off of $99.97, so I was able to get this for $30. I thought that was a really good deal. Fabric's really nice actually. Quality is a lot nicer than you know you would see for most like bomber jackets, especially for 30 bucks. I just thought it was too good of a deal. I didn't need another jacket, but it's such a nice jacket for $30. US dollars, I have to say though, so it does cost a little bit more. You can see here to pair, I have this American Eagle black hoodie, thermal kind of hoodie, just black normal hoodie but it pairs well with the jacket guys this hoodie was five bucks 4.99 at american eagle fashion outlets in niagara i think originally like 20 something dollars down to 4.99 when i go to the fashion outlets my usual first stop would be the nike factory outlet store that's usually where i would go to first and having looked around the store i didn't really find a lot of great deals in the nike store but i did find these this is the Nike Woodside 2 waterproof boot. Has a very sorrel, sorrel look to it, which I liked. I like the brown leather upper with the waterproofing here on the main part of the boot. And underneath is gum bottoms. More recently, my friend got me into a lot more gum bottom shoes. Nike ACGs. So what I usually do when I'm at an outlet store and I think I find a deal, I Google it. I look it up to see like what the actual boot is worth. And just to show you guys here, on eBay right now, these boots go for $93 US. I think the regular retail price on these was $125 US. They still have shipping here for like 30 bucks. But I was able to get these. The price I paid for them was $59.99. And I think that's the most I would be willing to pay for like an outlet item when I'm just like shopping for deals. $59.99 for a piece of footwear is a good deal particularly for these which are more of a rugged boot performance acg waterproof with leather i'd say 59.99 was too good of a deal to pass that up so i had to get them after nike i stopped by under armor i stopped by the adidas store as well and i didn't really find any good deals in there it was a little disappointing that the deals weren't better but i feel like that might be due to inflation recently all the costs really just have gone up so after the nike store is actually when i found this jacket at banana republic and this hoodie at american eagle but on my way out i did know that there was a Foot Locker store there and this is where i think i found the best deals the first thing I found at the Foot Locker was this t-shirt. I just like the design. It is a Foot Locker house brand t-shirt. I just like that it was very loud, multicolor, to pair with like, you know, a plain black jean. And the cost of this tee was $5.99. Fabric's pretty nice. I don't think I would have spent more than that for a t-shirt, but thought it was a good deal. And then I made my way over to the clearance shoes section, and that's where I found these shoes. So this is the Nike Pegasus Trail 3 Gore-Tex Runner. Pegasus usually for me is a bit too cushion. I have flat feet so I over pronate and I normally need structure shoes. However, for hiking and when I go off road, off city streets, off the pavement, I can get away with wearing more of a cushion shoe. And I found these guys. So these guys are normally, I think they were like 160 or 170 US dollars regular price. They've already been replaced by the Trail 4, but I prefer how the Trail 3 looks more. And these shoes on eBay right now 
are going for 85 US dollars plus $30 shipping. Again, regular price on them was like 160. And these shoes I was able to get for $49.99. The midsole is Nike React Foam. I have tried on a number of Nike React shoes in the past, but they were just too expensive for me. Like I really did like a lot of Nike React runners and I really like the cushion setup. Feels like Boost, but a bit more springy. Having found these, I couldn't turn it down. They're Gore-Tex, so the surface, I wouldn't say they're completely waterproof because there's a lot of perforations for like the lace loops and for breathability, but they are fairly water resistant i haven't tested them out yet but i look forward to doing that perhaps on a hike or if i'm going to go on a trail run these are the guys i'm going to be reaching for now a fairly aggressive tread pattern for gripping on trails i really like the silhouette of this shoe and funny enough it matches the jacket that was a good find actually i was like maybe i'll just buy one pair of shoes but right next to these shoes i found these and these are the adidas ultra boost 21 all white a little hard to focus on because they are pretty bright all white triple white i already had the adidas ultra boost 20 all white with a black outsole haven't even worn those yet because i got them during the boxing week sale adidas website had an additional 50 percent off and i still paid more for those than i did for these so these are 59.99 normally they would go for like 180 to 200 dollars here yeah they're the older model i think they're up to ultra boost 23 now but this is when they introduced the new silhouette to ultra boost i couldn't avoid the deal 59.99 american so then when you do the conversion that would come to about $85 for a pair of Ultra Boost. And my saying goes like, when you find a nice pair of Ultra Boost for under a hundred bucks Canadian, you gotta cop them. Ended up accumulating a lot of Ultra Boost because of that motto. Maybe I should stop though, because <laughs> I think this is getting a little too much. But yeah, very happy. You can see the tread pattern there. Very streamlined look, continental rubber. Ultra Boost midsole, Prime Knit upper. If you guys want to see any of these shoes on feet, let me know in the comments below. And guys, just to show you, these shoes still go for $139.90 US on eBay. So I ended up buying the Nike Pegasus Trail and the Ultra Boost 21 with the t-shirt. I was walking out and then I saw another pair of shoes. Really caught my eye. I was looking for a new pair of basketball shoes alternate between my Under Armour Curry 4, which is my favorite basketball shoe. And so I did some research once I found the shoe. Guys, this is the Jordan Zoom Separate. Loud color pattern, kind of matched the t-shirt. This was Luca's choice of shoe before it came out with the Luca 1. So Luka Doncic, superstar basketball player guys for the Mavs. I like his game. Propelled me to want to get this shoe. It says air there in the midsole but it's actually zoom air right there in the middle that middle section. You can see it better there in this shoe. That is a zoom air unit in the forefoot and then there's a dual density foam for the rest of the midsole. I got to test these out last week for ball and they are very nice. You can see that in the video that I had posted before this the test video that I did for these shoes. Slipped out a little bit a few times but it was a very dusty court but for most reviewers that I've seen on YouTube about this shoe. The traction's really good and it shouldn't be doing that. So it must've been exceptionally dirty that day when I played last week, but it's supposed to hold up very well. I like the four foot upper here fabric. So it's very breathable and comfortable. And then you've got the support with more of a textile containment in the main part of the shoe. Very prominent ankle support here, heel cup. It's not like carbon fiber, but there is a plastic shank plate. I really like how these shoes performed. I prefer this look over the new Luca 1. These shoes cost me $39.99. But when I look on eBay now, these shoes are coming up around 241 Canadian dollars, 200 Canadian, around 175 US for these shoes. I guess because they're becoming more rare as they've been replaced by the Luca 1. Anyways guys, so that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed looking through some of the great deal finds that I found. I pride myself in finding really good deals. And when I do, I like to share my joy in finding those deals. So is it still worth to go outlet shopping? I would say yes. Not all outlets, however, are really holding great prices. Like just today too, I went to another Under Armour outlet store and not really good deals there. You really gotta keep your eye out. You might go in an outlet store, they might have an additional 40% or 50% sale, but it doesn't really mean though that that markdown is really worth it yet. Cause sometimes they'll slash the price and then you get the additional percentage off of that. That's what I look for. If there's something that you're getting around 70, 80% off from the original retail price, that I think is a good deal. 
those are usually the ones I'd go for. That's how I shop. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see when the next video comes out. If you guys wanna see any more like fashion haul kind of videos where I wear the clothes, maybe you want some fashion tips on how I pair things together, let me know in the comments below. Or again, like as I said earlier, if you want some on-feet footage of any of these shoes, let me know and I can pump that out for you guys too. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Peace out. See you in the next one.